previously on Project Zomboid. Uh, we're going to start this episode off by taking a look at our Alice pack, our fine leather Alice pack that we're going to be making. Uh, so I now have uh, eight fine leather. I found two more rosebuds in between episodes and got this stuff made. All we need now is uh, we need to make some silk thread. So we're going to head up to our apiculture area where our moths are, our silk moths. Head over to our herbalist table, go ahead and breed silk moth, and make silk threads, make two of those. Okay, make a fine leather alice pack with our eight fine leather, our needle, and two silk thread. All right, guys, here we go. And let's see, there we go. Capacity of 35. Our alice pack only holds 30. Go ahead and dump all the items in our alice pack. Move them over. Go ahead, equip this one. There we go. Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here on, let's see here, August 19th. Uh, so a little bit of time has passed in between episodes once again. And let's see here, we've got to start off by checking our leg, I think. Uh, we have, of course, a fractured right shin from stupidly jumping off of the roof by accident. And uh, it's been uh, about a month. Uh, no, maybe not quite a month. Or I think we're still sitting around 20 days, actually. Maybe we should wait a couple more days. We did check at the end of last episode. Uh, so let's wait a couple days on that. Uh, but we are uh, on the home stretch of having Nat healed uh, because we can run around now with the splint on. And the last time we removed it, uh, we didn't even get any pain moodles, so uh, we're pretty close there. What else are we doing today? Uh, I've got, uh, oh yes, in between episodes I brought up a fridge from downstairs and have put that up in our living quarters here. So we now have a fridge up here because our generator, once we fire that up, I'll just show you, it uh, will start refrigerating. Uh, if I, maybe if I put something in there, you can see better. But what do I have to put in there? I must have some vegetables on me. There we go. Let's put uh, some tomatoes in there. You can see that they should start turning blue. And this should be refrigerating. Yes, there you go. So we do have a refrigerator now. Uh, our main task is going to be just getting enough fuel together so we can leave that on for extended periods. I'm going to turn it off for now, though. So we don't have all that much gas right now, but we do know that we can make our own through the biodiesel method. Right now, I think I've got yeah, I've got two full gas cans here. Uh, this has uh, generator info, 44% fuel in there. Uh, so we should, probably should uh, try and look for a few more jerry cans today. Uh, if possible, we'll head down to the gas stations and uh, check that out. I also want to finally put our special Z up here, our 5,000th zombie kill. Put her inside of this uh, fish tank, her head in there. Uh, so let's try and do that right now. Uh, we will empty out everything on her person. We will pick her up. Okay, so do we have to... All right, let's figure out what the uh, recipe is. It's been a while since I've done this. So, skin corpse, uh, remove skull from a skeleton, remove head from a skin carcass, remove skulls. Uh, which one do we want? I, I guess we want the, uh, the head, right? I suppose. Let's look up um, the fish tank, uh, head in a fish tank. Where would that be in? Would that be in Survivalist 2? Just want to make sure we get the right, uh, the right skull or the right head. Leisure? Would it be under leisure? <laughs> Ugh, it is. Okay, so we need a head. Okay, so that must be after we skin her. Okay, so let's go ahead and skin the corpse. So I guess we could practice on another corpse first. 
Just make sure we got the right... We're, make sure we're doing the right thing. We'll pick up a meat cleaver here. I should have a few. Yeah, I got five. So let's pick up one. We'll head down to the main floor. Very carefully going down our sheet rope. We'll practice on this corpse here. Uh, so let's drop our corpse for a minute. Pick up this one. If I can find her body in the ground. And where is she? It's strange. Oh, I guess, yeah. Never mind. Duh. Just pick her up. Oh boy. It's too early in the morning for me. Alright, so let's skin the corpse. There we go. We've got raw skin and a skinned carcass. Uh, remove head. And let's see, head. Yeah, that's the one we want. Okay. Uh, so we'll butcher that. We'll see the bones from this. Might as well not have this go to waste. Harvest the bones from the skeleton. Got four bones there. Some odd meat. Uh, we'll just put that in the garbage. We can see if we can compost it, but we don't need it. Let's grab this. Let's do the same here. Skin the corpse. Remove the head. Uh, butcher the carcass. Or should we even butcher the carcass? Should we leave the carcass, guys? Should we have that part of the display? I'll leave that up to you. Let me know in the comments below. For now, we'll put her body, her headless body, back up here. It's such a morbid <laughs> discussion. Okay, uh, so we'll put that there. Her little tiny body. Uh, we got her head, we've got the fish tank. Let's go fill this up with water, uh, I suppose, in the morning. Need something to eat too. We're keeping an eye on our weight. We're down to 71.87, so we need to continue eating some fatty foods. Let's get something here, and we have to make sure that they're non-hydrocraft foods. So we'll have some beans. A bowl of beans. Oh, uh, or just a, uh, a can of beans. That's fine, too. Let's get our pack dog equipped secondary. Drop this meat and skin and bones off in there. Go to sleep. Actually, let's eat one more thing. So we're well fed. Or somewhat well fed. Could have some more chips. There we go. Alright, pop that open. Go to sleep. Nine hours. Weight is dropping. Looks like we need to eat some more fatty foods. Uh, let's start off then by eating... Well, none of this canned stuff's going to be all that fatty. The sardines have a bit of fat. Open that up. Have some of that. Go down to our water pump, fill up this fish tank with water okay so we'll pour that into All right, why doesn't it give me an option to pour it into the fish tank uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. that's odd fish tank what's going on here why can't I fill this up Fill up our canteens first, maybe. Fill up the canteen. Uh, let's fill that up again. Uh, it's not giving us an option to pour it into the fish tank. All right. Let's try going to a ring collector, I guess. Pretty sure we were able to do that before. 
We do have some rain collectors though. Fill fish tank. There we go. We'll do this. More than one way to skin a cat or a zombie, as they may say. So we got our full fish tank with water. We will put our head into the fish tank. There we go. Let's put this on display. We'll go in the middle. A little tiny head with a fish tank. We'll move the carcass right beside it. And we'll sort out uh, this later, these items. I suppose we'll, we'll probably just put them in like a, a horseshoe around or something. And then we're going to add some, we're going to keep our eye out for some lamps. Add those in here, add some colored lights. It's going to it's gonna look kind of cool, guys. Maybe a Christmas tree. <laughs> Who knows? Anything to decorate. Okay, so that's that. Uh, now, we had been speaking about food and keeping our weight up. I have had some suggestions uh, in the comments of the past videos uh, that one thing we could do is uh, the Hydrocraft mod does provide some uh, processes for creating base game foods, like making cheese, regular old cheese. And uh, we could always uh, search for cows and slaughter uh, them to get beef. Let's just eat this corned beef first. Uh, we can also uh, kill rabbits and eat them. So those are probably some things I'm going to be doing in between episodes. Uh, make sure we have a lot of food on hand uh, to eat and continue gaining weight. So I thought I'd just let you guys know about that. We'll dump off this odd meat. Dump off these bones. Um, I think I'm keeping bones. Or no, I think I'm actually keeping bones down in the basement. but Or in the uh, mining room. We'll just keep them there for now. But I think we'll uh, probably just head out to do some more scavenging. Look for some more jerry cans. Once I drop this stuff off. Raw skin. We're also looking for a magnifying glass so we could do some bug hunting. Uh, so yeah, let's get our, no, we'll put our kitchen knife away, get our machete equipped, put the meat cleaver away as well into our new fine leather Alice pack, as well put that trowel away, don't need to be carrying a bucket of water, eat this salad, more so to uh, get us filled up, another suggestion was to start putting uh, meats and cheeses into our salads because right now uh, the salads aren't really going to uh, get us to gain weight at all it's pretty much just going to get rid of our hunger moodles so let's run down to the gas station here we'll check out that first for some jerry cans see what we can find we're at August 20th now so maybe on the 21st or the 22nd, we'll check our leg. Hopefully that will be healed. But, uh, I don't know. We might be able to run a little bit faster once it's healed. We're, we're essentially... We're, we're probably at like 85% mobility right now. Uh, are these, uh... Are these counters all different since the graphic update in build 34? For some reason they look different to me. Oh, and some pumpkin seeds that we left behind. I think now that we're a level three electrician, yeah, we can actually take, we may have been able to take these large machines before anyway, but I think we should be able to pick up some more. Uh, like I could pick up the fridge, obviously. I think we can pick up some more of those big items. All right, so we searched all this stuff before, but uh, pretty sure we left behind some jerry cans. So I'm just going to do a quick once over. Okay, just tissues. May have been back in here. 
Just, I'm pretty sure we left some stuff in here. Sheets. Or were they propane tanks that we left behind? Bowling ball. Maybe I'm wrong. Oxygen tank. Gray bricks. Premium. Oh, maybe I was uh, mistaken. I thought we had left some more stuff behind here. Looks like we grabbed it all. Just charcoal. Okay. Well, we'll hit up the next one down here. Uh, did we leave anything in these warehouses? I th had a feeling that we had left some jerry cans behind somewhere. Rope toy. But I must be... Must be misremembering. So I'm not seeing anything. Blowtorch. Hungry again. Yeah, I think I'm just misremembering. Plaster powder. We were pretty thorough. This had a lot of stuff in it though. That we left behind. Uh, do, do, do. It's been a while since that episode. Climbing pack. Another bucket. Vinyl. Bottle opener. Hand dolly. There's definitely a lot of stuff on these shelves still. Oxygen tank. But I don't think it's anything that we need. I think I just, uh, oh, some sheet metal. I will take that. And then nail gun ammo. We'll box MREs. Not that useful at the moment, but eventually, once Bill 34 is released on the public branch and Hydrocraft items are updated for nutritional value. Alright, same box. Some more cigarettes we'll take for the garden. Dustpan we can smelt. Lighter we can always use. Washboard. Uh, I think we already have shears. Purifying tablets though. Don't, well, maybe if we move somewhere else. Not uh, useful at the moment. Uh, toy robot, can we dismantle those? Yes, we can. Copper, we can smelt. Oh, another copper cable. Silver ornament. Toy helicopter, we can dismantle. Lots of paint. More cigarettes. Another bug net. No magnifying glass, though. Helium. Okay. Oh, uh, an auger. Saw another toy robot here somewhere. Where was that toy robot? A wine glass, steak knife, pound of stones, uh, fish food. Where was that toy robot? There we go. Dismantle that. Take the fish food for our new head in a tank. And we'll move on down. Check this place out. I don't know if we actually, did we actually go through this place? Or we quickly just peruse it. Canned peaches, chocolate, we'll go ahead and eat for the fat. I uh, will eat both of these cupcake and candy because those are, those are, are those both base game? Grab that food. Chocolate should help us out though. Uh, lemonade juice box. 
It's all gonna be rotten stuff. Stuff that's not uh, too useful to us. I suppose we could grab some of it though. All right, chips. Let's eat that. Lollipop. We'll eat. Grab this other stuff. Chocolate. Let's go ahead and eat it. Another thing of chocolate. Okay, that's a uh, quite a bit of fatty food that we've just eaten there. Hopefully that helps out. Uh, let's grab all that and all that. All that. Good. More chips. Looks like there's stuff on the end there, but uh, can't pick it up. Bag of rice. More chips. There we go. Candy. More chocolate. Excellent. Churro mix. Cocoa powder. Chips. More orange soda. Gummy bears, tortilla, more chocolate, lots of chocolate today, lots of chips and chocolate. Parsley flakes, interesting. More orange soda, we are almost full. Didn't find any jerry cans, but uh, a lot of fatty foods. So that's good. Alright, that is full. Start dumping stuff into our fine leather Alice pack. Last few shelves here. A cupcake. That's all empty. Don't need that stuff. Don't need that. Alright, let's fill up on this stuff and then we'll get out of here. Or is there. Alright, there's this stuff here. Uh, that's on a counter. A few boxes and stuff back here. It's all just rotten food, though. It's an office back here. Magazine stands. Not the mini gas cans there. Welding mask. Oh, a uh, medical clinic? Huh. Didn't know that that was here come back for that stuff we can actually grab maybe right now before we head back let's grab some of this stuff for our medical room a poster a weighing scale so all the good decorations a medical stool another one pick up a uh, doctor's degree nice okay let's uh, let's head home I'll drop this stuff off, we'll come back in the morning and uh, continue on with a little bit of looting. Hopefully we can find some more jerry cans and some more fatty food, so we'll be back in a couple seconds. And we're back the next day, uh, just heading over the bridge once more, back into the south area of town. Oh, look at this. We got, uh, oh, did you guys see that on the right-hand side? We had a peckish and a slightly fed Moodle at the same time. Haven't seen that before, or haven't noticed it at least. Very interesting. Obviously a bug in the nutrition system. It's gone now. Let's see if uh, our peckish Moodle goes away here after we eat this. That was odd. Yeah, it does. Strange. Maybe it uh, just happened because it was changing over from one to the other. Alright, so we're going to try and hit up a few more houses down here. Uh, the zombie population is quite a bit higher down here though, as we discovered the last time we came down. Still have those broken textures. The question mark textures as well. Thought they had been fixed, but apparently not. Okay, so we searched the first few homes here. Uh, let's push down a little bit further. Uh, there should be some more homes along this road further down. 
So we'll try and hit those up. Take a look at our weight. We are very close to hitting 72 kilograms. I brought a bunch of food with us, including chips and chocolate. Uh, at least I should, yep. So we're gonna continue eating this stuff today. Stab her. That's a pretty big group right there though. Might wanna try and avoid that group. Let's take a peek through here. Oh my god. That's a lot there too. Um hmm. Okay, let's go up to this house. Is this the one that are these the two that we searched last? Yeah, it must be. There's a bunch of zombie bodies on the ground. This must be where we left off. Try and just sneak around. Get past those big groups. And we'll try and hit up the next few homes down here. So we check that house out. Just past these guys. It looks like it's fairly clear down here now. Take a look at our skills. Let's see, sneaking. It's about a third of the way. Leveled up to uh, level five. Same with light-footed. Nothing else really going on there, though, for those other skills. Check this house out. Looks relatively safe. Here's some thumping. Just make sure no one followed us. I think we're okay. Take care of those. Got a few more in here. Try and kill her before they break through that door. Good. Uh, quickly check these containers. Take your key. Another baseball bat. I think I saw someone back in the kitchen area. Yep. Check the bathroom out. Uh, nothing there that I really need or there. Ooh, a pipe and some electronics. Okay, oh, put that in the wrong bag. Garbage bag. Oh, nice. Uh, an electrician of some sort lived here. Remote controller and a craft timer. And take that stuff for smelting. Chocolate donut, root beer. Alright, take your key. Oh, there's some stuff here to dismantle. Get both of those, grab the pillow. Though I don't think we need pillows anymore. We've already made our mattress. We just still need to get around to actually making the bed. And it's getting pretty dark again. Let's see if we can do one more house. Okay, back off. Take them as they come over the fence. Right, uh, some earrings we could take for our room of treasures. Okay, good. We're getting a little bit hungry. Let's back off and have another bag of chips. And we'll have some chocolate too. We are just over 72 kilograms now. Oh, there's another... Oh no, just a single guy down there. Thought it was the start of a group. A penny, another penny. 
Okay, should we try and get into this? I don't know, it's getting pretty dark. Might be pushing our luck. Broken glass. Yeah, it's pretty dark here, guys. Might not be a smart idea to go in there today. Yet he goes in anyway. Just close that door. Alright, can we just grab stuff quickly? Frying pan, whiskey, red wine, dismantle that. Sparklers, kettle to smelt, forks and spoons. Lemon juice, very good. All right, let's uh, not risk our luck with the rest of that house. I think this may be a good time to uh, end this episode. So let's quickly, while we have a moment, we'll check our leg. See if this is healed up. Remove the splint. Please. Oh, and it is healed. Fantastic. No more broken shin. So I guess I'll just run home from here. Uh, we still have quite a bit of room in our pack, but... I don't think there's really anywhere to sleep here. I might uh, run back to the, uh, the hotel by the gas station. I'll probably sleep there for the night. That is a big group right there. That is a big group. So that'll do it for today, guys. Thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In between episodes, I'll be doing some cheese making and some slaughtering of cows so we have enough base game food to last us another few weeks. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Leave me some comments below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Uh -huh.